Black Spectacles is the architect's website for learning design software. This is just one of thousands of tutorials we've built to help you stay current and stay a step ahead of the competition. After this video, check out blackspectacles.com to gain unlimited access to all of our courses. The next thing we're going to go through is starting to give scale to these kind of generic masses. And that first step will be to add floor lines. What we're going to do to add floor lines is use what is a relatively new tool. The process of adding line work and stuff to your models used to be far more difficult in Grasshopper, but it's actually gotten a lot easier because as they develop the program, people have given feedback. That tool is called Contour, and you can go under Surface. Actually, let's not do that. You can go under Intersect, and then under Mathematical, you'll see this Contour tool. So we're going to grab that Contour tool. And one thing I like to do when I'm creating my definitions, I actually like to work backwards. So I'll start by what I want to create at the end of the day, and then kind of work back from there. One question I always get in my office is, how do you go about making a grasshopper definition? How do you figure out what the best way to do it, the cleanest way to do it? And it's always, I think it's always best to start with, at the end of the day, what do you want? And then work back from that place of what you want. We can see here by rolling over these particular parts that it'll give us a hint at what it's looking for. So in this case, it's looking for a shape. And in the next one, we're looking for a start point for the contour. The next one is a direction of the contours. And the last one is distance. If you've used the contour tool in Rhino before, it's very similar. This is just the grasshopper form of that tool. So the shape, we have our boxes over here, the D-reps, and so we're going to go ahead and plug that into our shape control. And then the next thing it's going to look for is a point. So I'm doing floor lines, and I'm, I've am i assumed already that I have a relatively flat site, as you can see here. And so I'm just going to say my floor lines start at what is the zero level of the document and then go up from there. And so in order to just get a basic zero level, I'm going to go to my, my vector toolbar, and I'm going to grab this point X, Y, Z. And what this is going to do is it's going to give a certain default, and you can already see that Rhino's placed it within the model here. And the defaults here are just going to be 0, 0, and 0. And if you wanted to change that, obviously you could plug in a slider or a panel into any of these X, Y, Z parameters to move that around. So I'm going to go ahead and plug my point in. The next thing we're going to do is look at my direction. And so Rhino uses vectors to establish directions. The vectors are always listed in X, Y, Z order. You'll always find that it's X, Y, Z order. So when you see 0, 0, 1, it means that right now the vector is pointed in the Z direction, and it's a direction less than the X and Y axis. So right now it's pointing up, which in order to contour, I actually want to select a direction that's perpendicular to my contour lines. That will be my floor lines coming across here. So that's actually good. And the last thing it's looking for is a distance between contours. I'm going to grab a slider. So if I go to my preamps toolbar and grab a little number slider here, and it's going to come in with the default of 0.25, and its range is going to be from 0 to 1 as a default. And so I want to change that range. I'm going to do that by right-clicking on it. And the first thing I'm going to do is change it to an integer. So let's assume that this file is set up in feet, and generally my floor-to-floor -floor at this point in a kind of early massing study is going to be you know, 12 feet or 13 feet or 14 feet, as opposed to some kind of in-between number. And I'm going to right-click on it again and change my values. So I'm going to say that you know, my floor's tightest floor-to-floor -floor would be 10 feet, and then my max floor-to-floor -floor would be, let's say, 15 feet. So it could be a concrete building. And then commit changes. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to plug this slider into these. And you can see that Rhino here has given me my contour lines. The base plane is running perpendicular here, and so it's sectioning these according to that. And so if I were to scale one of these, those contour lines will shift with the object. 
So I'm just going to control Z that. And one thing is the default display with Grasshopper is that you get this kind of red and green. So red when the thing isn't selected, green when the thing is selected. As opposed to always viewing things in that color, you can actually customize your colors in Grasshopper. And so I'm going to show you how to do that real fast. You can find the next tutorial in this course on blackspectacles.com. Just click the link below this video. And for other tutorials in architecture software, check out blackspectacles.com. It's the architect's website for learning design software, with courses in software like CAD, Revit, Rhino, 3ds Max, Grasshopper, Photoshop, and many more. Visit blackspectacles.com now to see more free tutorials and to gain unlimited access to our entire course library.